Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm going to be talking about strawberry legs, ingrowing hairs, KP which some people call it and I'm going to be trying to figure out why you get these kind of things, why we get these arising issues and where we get them. You know a lot of people call it KP, some people call it ingrown hairs, some people call it strawberry legs. Some people have a mix of all three, some people feel like they're different things. To me I feel like they're the same thing. I've suffered from strawberry legs and ingrown hairs. They look like the same thing to me, but it could be a mix of the two. As you guys know, it is like keratin, a buildup of keratin and a buildup of dead skin cells and uh, and hair follicle trapped underneath the skin surface. And to remove it, you just have to over exfoliate, but not with like harsh scrubs or anything. You can use liquid exfoliators with salicylic acid, glycolic acid, and retin-A. So these are all good substances you can use in order to help free yourself from ingrown hairs. So another thing I'm just I just want to touch on why we get these things or why we could get a buildup of keratin, dead skin cells, um, and dirt. Um, and a lot of cultures and a lot of countries um, people don't suffer from these things. It's usually people living in the UK or the US I found that suffer from these things. And what I found is if you've got ingrown hairs and strawberry legs or KP, you usually get them um, behind your arms, on your arms, on the sides of your legs, the top of your legs, the back of your legs, and some people actually get them on their bottom. So if you think about it, most of the time when we're laying down, when we're sleeping, we are laying on the sides of our arms and we're laying on our backs and the back of our arms are laid flat when we wear tight clothes when we wear trousers or, or leggings you know they're quite tight and they do you know clench our legs and when we're sitting down and if you're sitting down with your knees well not your, your legs sort of in the, the the bottom of your legs is touching the top part of your legs also when you're sitting down on your bottom you know, there's no air going to the skin. There's no, you know, the, the, the skin follicles or the hair follicles are blocked. And when you're sitting down, the back of your legs are covered. So all these areas that we're experiencing ingrown hairs or strawberry legs, they're being blocked, they're being covered, they're being obstructed, especially when you're sleeping. If you lay on your back, your back's being obstructed. So if you start sweating, you get a buildup of sweat you get a buildup of keratin, you get a buildup of dead skin cells and the hair follicle can't grow properly out of, you know, the, your skin because it's been trapped. You know, if you wear tight clothes, if you're wearing clothes that hug your arms, if you're, if you slouch and you lay down on your arms or if you lay down on your back or you lay down on your bottom, this is a reason why a lot of people get, you know, acne on their arms, acne on their back or they get ingrowing hairs and strawberry legs. And if you notice you get strawberry legs down the sides of your legs and not the front and not the back, it could be because when you lay down, when you're going to sleep, when you're going to bed, you, you lay on your side, you lay on each side. And some people get it at the side of their thighs as well. You know, so you just have to think about the places that they're more prone and think about you know your routine and what you do and how to kind of prevent these things from happening. So some of the ways that I can think of is trying to prevent, you know, ingrown hairs or just minimizing um, the ingrown hairs or the strawberry legs is to wear looser clothes. If you're not going out and you're staying indoors, um, try and wear very loose um, fitting clothes. Uh, if you wear t-shirts a lot, try and wear vests because the t-shirts can, you know, if you wear t-shirts and you lean down and you lean on, on the side of your arm, um, the fabrics could obstruct your skin. So try and wear loose fitting clothes. Try and wear vest tops if you can. Try and keep your house at a nice warm temperature so you're not having to wrap up too much inside the home. If you don't have to wear all these things that obstruct your body, don't. When you're at home, try and wear loose fitting clothes. Don't wear leggings and tights and stuff in the, in the house. Try and wear shorts or very loose flowy trousers or something because if not you're obstructing the hair growth and especially if you've just waxed you've just shaved 
or you've just used a method of hair removal, that's the worst time to wear skin obstructing clothes. So say if you just went for a wax or you just shaved your legs and then you put on good, these amazing leggings that you've always wanted to wear and they're really tight fitted, your hair is gonna start growing back so fast because you've just removed it and then as it starts to grow back or even try and grow back, it's gonna see an obstruction. And the obstruction is the clothing that you're wearing and possibly the oils that you're putting on your skin. So if you're using coconut oil or Jehovah oil or aloe vera oil or um, almond oil, these things help and you know help clog the pores and you don't want that. So if you don't need to oil your skin, just don't do it. You can moisturize your skin, use a moisturizer, but don't use anything too oily. And remember to exfoliate often. If you can use an exfoliating treatment before you go to bed at night, your skin will be exfoliating while you sleep. So the dead skin cells will be shedding. And by the morning, you can have your shower and you can wash all those skin cells off. So my theory is that the keratin buildup, the ingrowing hairs, the strawberry legs, it's just basically a build up of dead skin cells and the fabrics that we wear and our posture, the way we lean, um, the, the way we lean on things, the way we lay down, the way we go to sleep. That's my theory because everywhere I've had strawberry legs or ingrown ha hairs are places that I found have been obstructed, like my arms or the sides of my legs or the sides of my thighs. And everywhere else, I don't get them. Just think about it. Why don't we get ingrowing hairs, you know, or strawberry legs on our chest? Or why don't we get them, like, on certain parts of our body? Because they're not being obstructed. You know, your body needs air, your body needs to breathe, and your body sheds the skin every day. And you need to be exfoliating your skin, even if it's a light exfoliator, even if it's a liquid exfoliator. We need to be doing that. Maybe in your diet as well, you might be deficient in a specific mineral or even vitamin A. Do you know that if you're low on vitamin A and you're deficient in it, your skin is not gonna shed rapidly, it's not gonna shed properly. So that's another reason why the keratin and the hair follicles can be blocked and can be trapped. You know, not a lot of people know this. So anyway, that concludes my video. I'm just gonna touch on a few products as well. Remember, you can use salicylic acid, glycolic acid, or retin-A retinol. I used to use the Mario Badescu, um, what is it called? Mario Badescu AHA body soap, and it came in like a little tub. It was like a liquid, like a body wash. But recently I found out it has um, SLS in it, it was sodium lauryl sulfate, I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's basically a foaming agent, and it can and it can be dry into the skin. So I've tried to minimize my usage of that ingredient. So I am on a hunt for a few others. So if anyone has any information about any good exfoliants that aren't scrubs that I can use, please let me know. And there's also the retin oil that I'm planning to get very soon. So once I do get that, I'm definitely gonna review it and tell you guys about it. There's also the Ingro Go product that is really good. And there's a NADS product for ingrown hairs that I haven't used it consistently yet. So I'm not 100% sure about that. But if anyone has any good like ingrown hair products or exfoliating products that they can recommend, just please let me know. Remember with exfoliating products as well, you have to be very consistent. You have to use them two to three times a day. Um, two times a day would be more realistic in the morning when you wake up and in the night before you go to bed that's when you will see more results if you do this consistently two times a day for a week to two weeks you definitely will see results so thank you guys for watching this video i hope it's helped some of you try and understand why you do get ingrown hairs or strawberry legs or kp which some of you may call it um thanks again for watching this video and remember to subscribe comment have a conversation in the comments and i'll see you in my next video Bye.